but something that uh, I struggle with um, a little bit is driving that, say that uh, repetitive sprint ability, that adaptation yep. in an athlete who is already playing another sport. Yeah. Balancing that, what's too much, what's not enough. Yeah. Uh, that's a big one. Yep. So let's start with that, okay? Because I think, you know, one of the big things, and you're absolutely right, it's hard to layer more conditioning on top when they're already conditioning for their sport, right? Or, or actively participating in their sport. So one of the, the big things that I will kind of coach my coaches about, and sometimes that's IFAST, sometimes that's other people that I'm like mentoring, um, but you can always chase the power end of the spectrum, right? So think, let's say it's a soccer player or a basketball player. You can still do like short, like five second burst exercises, right? Like think a lactic power. So like five seconds on 90 seconds off. And, you know, it could be a sled sprint. It could be a kettlebell jump. It could be a prowler push and then working on full recovery. So you're not necessarily chasing the conditioning side of the equation as much as you're chasing the output side. Okay. So think about like the analogy that, that always goes over well is like, if we're talking about lifting, right? Like who's going to have better endurance with a 225 bench test, the guy that can bench 240 or the guy that can bench 300, right? Like the guy, the guy that can bench 300, right? Cause he's got more output to deal with. So anything underneath that, is at a lower threshold to him. It's less stressful to his system. So that's kind of the approach that I would take. Um, or just keeping it, even if it's not true alactic power, where it's like five on, 90 off, maybe it's in that one to eight, one to 10 work to rest. So it's very alactic aerobic. I still think you can see some really positive adaptations there because you're still, you're still training the power into the spectrum. You're still forcing their aerobic system to kind of, I always think of it as, it's like, uh, it's like when you've got a window open in the background of your computer, right? And it's operating, you don't really know it's there. Like that's what your aerobic system's doing to replenish, you know, the energy stores so that you can be anaerobic when you need to, right? Or alactic. So that's kind of the way that I would think about it. And that's one of the things that I'll have people do because look, unfortunately, not a lot of coaches understand the physiology side of this. So they're just smashing these kids with conditioning or their practices aren't, aren't set up very well. So that's something that we can always do, I think, to infuse some good stuff um, in between. You know, the other option is, and this is more dependent upon how often they're training, but like, let's say they're participating in their sport like three days a week. Maybe something else that we can do on the back end is just like more general aerobic conditioning. So we could do stuff like tempo running and that sort of thing on the off days. So like very Charlie Francis type level stuff, 70 to 75%, nice fluid runs, opening the legs up, um, you know, like a one to four, one to five work to rest ratio, but it's not intensive enough to where you need that extended rest. Um, I think stuff like that can work really well too. But, so you're not, yeah, that's cause I mean, I, I mean, I, you're, so you like wouldn't be worried about the, um, just the volume if you're running some of those tempo sprints that's not that's like the intensity is low enough where it's not gonna matter yeah yeah and that's the key right like that's what charlie always kind of harped on is we spend too much time in the middle so either go really hard or kind of make it fluid and relaxed so it is easy and it's almost more restorative than it is taxing on the system so if you're talking driving say like you said power drive the yep. power end of the spectrum five on yep. 90 off yep. would you would you structure like that sort of session similar to like, say like intensity sprints? So rest as needed. Um, yeah, yeah, oh, for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah, right. yep. because the goal there is power, right? Right, right, so right. If it's somebody that's super fit, they may only need 50 to 60 seconds and their heart rate is back where it needs to be. But like a big O or D lineman, it may be 90 seconds to two minutes. <laughs> Right. And then from there, then all you're doing is as they get more and more fit, then you can start chop into that rest as you go. I mean, that's right. like, that's exactly what I'm doing. So I've got like uh, this D lineman I'm working with right now. And that's, 
the exact kind of thing we started with. We started with very pure alactic power type stuff. And now as he's getting closer and closer to the season, we're just eating into that rest period, but trying to keep the power as high as we can. Yep. 